<laughs> you had me already <laughs> um, at like giveaway. Okay, we should be live again. Hopefully, the frame frames are going to be a little bit better. Yeah. Now. So it um we don't do giveaways of games, but we do giveaways themed after the games we've been playing. And so with this summer of The Last of Us, our latest giveaway is uh, Last of Us themed. Mm -hmm. And we, I say recently hit 900 followers, but I, I know we're at like 900, almost 20, I think. So, yep. yeah, yeah. So one of the items we're giving away is the deluxe copy of the art of The Last of Us Part 2, guys. That's just one of the items we're giving away. And yeah, we don't usually do, uh, we usually do like art and a crafted item, but it's really hard to make art of The Last of Us 2 that isn't already done. So I figured I'd give uh, the, the art book as part of it. So mm -hmm. that's cool collector's item. Yes, it is still sealed. The corners are pretty straight and everything. Um, it's an officially licensed product, obviously, but yeah. That is one of the items you will be getting. Okay, one thing I've been pretty consistent on is uh, killing people in roughly the same spots. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bring them back to my death den. <laughs> that guy's foot is so clearly sticking out, though. <laughs> It'll get him coming over here. Okay, there's the lady on the left then. Oh, two more. Oh wait, no. Someone just found one. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, Next. Uh, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Next. <laughs> I wonder if I could shoot the chain off. You think I can? Oh, it's hard to see though, the chain. Yeah. Is that a clicker? Does anyone see her? Where the fuck did she go, guys? <sighs> Is that like a lady on a teleprompter or something? <laughs> okay, there's one on the left. There's the infected right there, and then there was one behind the infected on, like, a balcony. Oh, okay, there's one side further into the building. I just saw them move. Yeah, I want to say there's, there's, like, three people out here still. Not including the infected? Not including infected. Yeah, okay. I agree with your number. I do want to set the infected tree. There is a I, there is a clicker out there somewhere. That's really messed up of them to have like a clicker pet. I, it doesn't matter what group you are. If uh, you like keep infected as like some kind of like trophy or Play way thing? of scaring things away, there's something fucked in the head with you. Well, is, isn't Michonne the one in Walking Dead that had the, uh... Yeah. But she was. But it was like her husband and time. brother or something or whatever? Yeah. And she was using it as cognito and less than, like, a pet. You know. Okay. I doubt it, but I'll try it. See if it's this thing. a really weak chain then yeah oh yes oh, it is oh, okay have fun let's go scream about this there's a guy upstairs oh okay oh there's two battling over there too as well See that? How did that- I feel like- Oh, you know what? It's probably like a do dog ring kind of thing down there. Okay. Are they dead? That one's dead, not the lady, though. The lady survived for it? Huh. Yeah. Well, I would've lost money. 
Yeah, they've been not. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Come on. <laughs> I have questions for your security patrols, man. <laughs> you don't want me to know you guys haven't found me. Like, you don't want to yell that out loud. Are you just hoping yeah, I but... speak English or something? Okay, she's gonna take more than one shot. Arrow maybe makes through. For some reason, bullet, I need to shoot three in the head, but arrow, I got them immediately. Unless it's because I hit the plastic, not the actual helmet. I don't know. Okay, so there's one up top, in the middle there, one on the left on the ground floor, and then t the mm -hmm. two down Those... there, I don't know... Let me see. What's what's the story with the two down there? It's definitely a clicker, one of them at least. I don't know if both. But if they're in a little cubby thing, I can't let them out then. I won't be able to let them out. So anyway, uh, and during then other things you get during for our being the winner of our giveaway is custom art by Sasha, mm -hmm. Last of Us themed. Um, but I'm just would drawing the line at no hentai be okay? <laughs> yeah, nothing sexual. It has to be a character in the game. Oh, are they chained together? In the swimming pool. Why are they finding so many chains? What kind of swimming pool is just like 3 to 10 feet right here, guys? Do you not know if it's 3 or 10 feet? Okay. Hmm. I think it's high time we say that the arrows do not work for the chains. But the random bottles are. Fucking bottle. Okay, let's go find a brick. I'm sure there was a brick somewhere. Oh, there's a bottle. There's... Those are efficient. Nice. Sufficient. They are efficient, too, apparently, with this. Uh, I think back. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I thought I was, like, not that off, but okay. I'd say you were, like, a, just a tad far, but I, I thought that, like, the splash radius of the glass would have been okay. Yeah. Another bottle? Someone's seen me from somewhere, and I don't know where. There we go. Oh, I don't want to swap. Explosive arrow just sitting there? Okay. A very Two open. upstairs, one downstairs still. That woman has shut up. She must be one of the snipers because she's been consistently in that one area. All right. I can't see it well enough here, and I don't want to get too far down. Uh, okay. Hard to. See. Okay, you know what? I think that was that first time was maybe a fluke now. Yeah, why why was that so easy? I'm not gonna go down there and unlatch him, that's for sure. Well you've also maybe irritated them. Nika! Another Nika! I don't know any Nikas in real life. Yeah. They made a big deal about the whole people calling out names, but then they only choose a select few names. This is taking longer than I care to have it take, but I'm just- This is a new gameplay mechanic, and I want to use it. Third time. You guys time. are gonna have a stupid hobby. I'm gonna make you regret your hobby. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh... That looks, uh, that looks spot on. Mm, yeah. What the fuck? I. Why did that? Okay, a brick. Does it have to be a brick? 
Was it a brick the first time? No, it was a, a bottle. Oh, but I don't know. They sound always a lot closer than they ever are. That person's a lot closer than I thought, too. Oh, is that a brick? Sure he is. I don't think I had a brick. Okay, that's that person. And then the two. Oh, oh they're you. down? No. Same. Fuck yes, me, same. Fuck me, fuck me. Wow, that person. Their range, too, is quite impressive. <laughs> If I use an explosive uh, arrow, it's just gonna kill the two clickers. Would it kill? What are th I wonder. It'll, it'll piss something off. Also, wasting ammo. Yes. <laughs> What? Come on! It's the crosshair said it was gonna go through uh, over the. Today is just not my day. Oh, so my coworker asked me if there was a trophy for not exploding any of the trip mines, and yeah. I was like, no. You have to. And, uh, and then that made me the. And then that made me ask him, like, why? Did you explode some? He's like, yeah, we kind of exploded all of them. <laughs> I was just like, why did you explode all of them? <laughs> Apparently it took them a couple of tries to get through all of it, so... <laughs> Okay, that's... Huh? We might have her. <laughs> yeah, right in the center of us where we're both looking at each other. Yep. <laughs> Found her Ow. in my ass. Alright. They, how far are they that I still can't really quite get them from here? I don't know. Uh, that should not stop a fucking bullet. This kind nope. of gun. That headshot would have been done. That's one thing they kind of have over everybody else so far. Yeah, helmets. Like, who would have thunk? <laughs> who sees me? Okay. Who? Anyone see a sign of her? Oh, was it this person? Guys, I really have not moved. That didn't kill him. Oh, you know who does The guy with the baseball cap, though. The bike. Oh, <laughs> Nika. Oh, yes. Hmm, that guy's still up there. Okay, good. I was about to fucking say. It's like they forgot how these things work.
Well, it was gonna be fun if, you know, they let me get the clickers free, but whatever. Whatever. You guys and your weird hobos. Rowan. Hi. You only Hi, have Rowan. one shot left because of the headshot earlier. You're gonna go in the same spot where I just shot that guy dead. Oh, you're- oh, okay, one more. Am I right? I imagine I got the attention the entire, you know... The complex? Nah. Come on. You know you wanna. <sighs> These are really no fun. First, you won't let me let clickers set free on you. Then you wouldn't take a headshot. Now I have to come to you. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! Oh, that was a bad shot. Okay, one more? Two more? One more. The clickers to the side are not helping. <laughs> you're si you're oh, hiding under a table where I can see you. Another table where I can see you. Nice kitchen you guys got here. Wonder if I should even waste the bullets on a nah on the clickers. <laughs> you should just take photos in front of the clickers. <laughs> Selfie style. Oh, I fucked up her face. Yes, yes, you did. See, why make medkits when there's, like, energy bars everywhere? Alright, I'm not done out here yet. Well, watch this set free because they see me. Oh, look at them. They're hugging. You can- maybe you can try and find some of your arrows. Uh, it's within radius of them, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? Nah. I do feel like if I leave them up, they're gonna be a problem later. Oh, but they're moving so much. Oh, yeah, that was great, Sasha. That was when you set them free. I'm sorry, guys. This is. At least I would. <laughs> Even. What they are, I would not want them trapped in like a barrel, shooting fishful barrel kind of situation. Feels wrong. Oh, I'm just wasting everything. I love it. Brick at the. Mhm. Mm no, no, no. Wait, first brick, first brick. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was good. Do I get my bullets back though? <laughs> uh, did you yeah, get your bullets back? Yeah, I do. Back? I have at least three bullets back. Nice. How do I fuck that up? Okay, so what went wrong there? The <laughs> Maybe I got too close before I hit square. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the three bullets. I feel like that hey, was reject. A, like some com karm Car karma. Related thing. They're still chained. You should unchain them down though. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right. Okay, Rowan, you want to sit like this? You want to sit like this, Rowan? Rowan is being cradled like a baby. Go. On audio only, cause laundromat Wi-Fi is no bueno. I bet. How you doing, Reject? Hey, Reject. Today's the Last of Us 2 finale. We're which sure. means... We're, we're pretty sure. We're fairly sure. Re well, regardless if it's a finale or not, today's a giveaway day. Yep. 
So if you want to uh, enter a chance to win some sweet, sweet stuff, Last of Us themed, from Oof. the art book to uh, crafted goodie from Bernice, a different type of crafted goodie from me. EG is 100% sure. What if we just like completely fail at this like last couple encounters? I'm 100% sure right now. We just take our sweet... I'm pretty action. sure. I think I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wow, this place is huge. Aw, oh, there's people They here. heard that? Not the explosion. He thinks he's sure. Don't mind the guns hanging out. Yeah, I'm totally inside that vending machine I wrote. <laughs> oh shit. There, there's a- Yeah. Oh, uh... I got one of those. Oh, you hit yours first! <laughs> they have bulletproof vests. Why can't I skip this? Like, I'm stuck in walk mode, by the way, when it happens. Which is- I think all dramatic. Very bad for me. Was that all of them? I don't know. Man, I spent an hour here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, we also had to restart the stream, but... Yeah. It doesn't look like we're having as many issues. No new prompts, at least. Nope. Everything else is upstairs. Yeah, because I've... Yeah, I've gotten this way. Cool. Yeah, this place is huge. I'm just here for the audio ride! Alright. Sadly, you still can't hear the game, though. I tried fixing it various different ways. It only seems to be share play. Something along that just disconnects in some way. The uh, 900 followers... Oh, I did not change that command. <laughs> it's happening now. It's happening now. <laughs> now. Let's reload all my weapons, just in case. Now. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and make one of these. Oh hey Big Daddy! Hey Big Daddy! I can somewhat hear game audio. Well that's good. Okay. At least that's a good it's somewhat. Better than none of them. I all. will take somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Tickets 50. Everyone is going tickets 50. I like it. Oh, I no like time. it. From Pat. Could be a girl, could be a boy. Could be non binary Do your best. <laughs> Jen! <Hey. laughs> I got it. Extra beef! Send along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes. I just got. They've been pressed how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw her. I never thought I would see a Santa Barbara like Southern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a command. Current what wait, what what? For tickets? Oh reject. Uh it's cause reject Made one. is a subscriber. Subscribers are buy one, get one for the tickets. Yeah, no rejects. <laughs> you guys can buy more if you were subscribers. I wonder what's more beneficial. I don't know if this is beneficial to us, but as far as the knowledge of what they want to know. Buying a subscription for a month, or getting a free one if you have Prime, and using that for the for extra oh. doubling your tickets. Panda dance. Oh, I didn't know you were, were subscribed. But thank you, thank you. Or, uh, just buying more tickets with your points. You know what I mean? Uh, like, what would be more cost efficient? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, Awix just gifted a, a sub and got 500 stars for it, but the person he gifted a sub to was Fandabot. Whatever it takes. 
Dancers have def improved. I have a dog in my lap. I have a serious case of canine paralysis going on. So you can shut it. <laughs> Don't judge me! <laughs> I have a case of food in my lap. Not quite Oof. my lap. <laughs> But yeah, um, so you can you buy, really were if to you're a subscriber, you will get the extra tickets up until you hit 50. So Helica just bought tickets, and she's at 58, and she can no longer buy any tickets because she's already over 50. <laughs> Subscriber! Alright, we probably need to reset this. Oh yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty soon. We'll let that go. Continuously burn and pause menu. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Shay, play. So, how many ticks does Big have now? Uh... He has... Big Daddy has 50 tickets! And if anyone wants to know how many tickets they have and don't want to ask Foundabot, you can ask me. <laughs> I will have that number for you. Okay, I restarted it. Did you see the restart? I uh, did see the restart. Cool. What was I going to say? Uh, uh, that's the guy burning. That's the guy burning. <laughs> mm. How it currently stands with this game, in the beginning or halfway through, this game definitely felt like a 9, I'm almost in. 10 out of 10 yeah. kind of game. This Now this it's starting to feel like 8. <laughs> It's out of ten. Its, mm -hmm. it's oh, it's overstaying its welcome. I think that's the first time that first try I, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Washing Vikings gave me more hyper Valhalla <laughs> tickets. Uh, I think if you just go exclamation mark tickets, it'll tell you how many tickets you have. But or I could yeah, just go to it. the fire. That's a good idea. You dumb. You dumb. <laughs> Oh, they're gathering around. I love it. Just put this here. I wish I could throw those, man. I, I don't think the smoke is what you should be watching out for, but that's just me. Okay, thanks. Wes! Who came to a gunfight with an axe? Actually, he thought wait. it was a bullet. He thought it was a bullet. Go to your right! Fight. I'm telling you, this is a great idea. Your left, actually. My right. Keep going that way. I don't think he's gonna go that way. Oh, excuse me, I am shooting your friend. Rude. You don't have a fucking... Oh, okay. okay. That was a little aggressive. Sorry, lady. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It's two left. There's a lot more than I remember. Got her pinned. Are you pinned? I found her! Over here! You gotta run down the stairs. Oh, that's not <laughs> very much I can go. But if I stay right about here, there's one probably above me? No? Okay. Oh, alright. Oh. I love it. That should... <laughs> they definitely based Elevor off Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you have the same, like, gray spot that your friend had. You guys must have been good friends. Why can't you grab a helmet? Oh! <laughs> 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 
Sorry, I ran out of melee weapons. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of stuff now. That submachine gun would be more fun if it didn't just chew through the very limited amount of bullets, I think. <laughs> right, and also effectiveness. Like, it feels like I have to shoot more to actually have it do anything. Well, I'm taking Needs my more present evil back. laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my present back because none of you decide to take it. Rude. Open that present. This guy who died like oh at the beginning. <laughs> he was the first one to die. I don't even know what you just grabbed, but okay. I think, I think bullets. Anything my grabby hands can grab. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's already reloaded. Ellie, you you know look good. Her arms are so scrawny and long. I mean, she was a fairly scrawny care like frame to begin with, but yeah, it's... farmhouse living has not helped her. No, you would think bench pressing JJ. Would also, fucking... her clothes are dry, so I'll be in and out of chat. I I no problem. Not a lot happening yet, story wise. Some laundromats I went to because they had AC, which was especially helpful when, like, you know, it was just hot as balls outside. But then, like, you had to deal with hot, dry clothes, and I was just like, this is the worst! Mm -hmm. My thing with drying clothes outside has always been to get stiff from, like, either just the dirt or just the way they dry. I don't know what it is, but I it's... never liked it. My aunt used some sort of, like, because you know how you use softener while you dry? Mm-hmm. She had some sort of softener that you put in, like, the wash cycle, when, mm. and it made it softer. It wasn't Chemically. as stiff. So I haven't dried my clothes since that's been more common in, in fabric softener and all that jazz. But... Uh -huh. Yeah, she had, like, it was softener for the, like, the wash machine. And I was like, what is this magic? And then I start wondering, like, what if I use softener in the washing machine? And then softener the dryer, too. Mm -hmm. I think we do the same. Okay, I think I got everything in this area. The two things that were on the floor were weapons. Alright. You know, this place is fairly untouched. Like, decorations are still in the same spot, roughly. Super soft clothing? Super soft. They melt Super soft. In hand. Hmm. I don't. I don't King want axe? melting in my hand. <laughs> King axe or uh, king of fire. King of fire. It has been a while. I haven't been using king of fire. Oh, I get to have both. Por qué no los dos? Tres. Maybe not walk in with a Molotov, just... <laughs> Maybe. Let's do a shotgun in case they were... Ah, shotgun doesn't have enough bullets ready. Hmm. Alright. I hope they're not, like, hurting Lev. <laughs> I love when their animations are meant for me to be sneaking by and I totally just murder the fuck out of everyone. I don't think anyone's coming after us, Ellie. Majority of them were dismembered or burned alive. The left, the few left was or stabbed. Both. Yeah. I just hope, because, you know, love being a trans boy, they aren't gonna go that route of, like, raping a young child. You think they're raping them? I don't put it past them. <laughs> they don't seem like they're great people. Oh. Uh, that's great. Just looks like they probably starved. Uh, what was this to... room prior? <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking. Like Unless this managed... was in here, maybe the the mission had a an old prison from like you know Contisador days. Oh shit! Ow! It's not how you use baseball bats, lady. <laughs> oh, how does she know? <laughs> There's a. Oh, we're going for the eyeball. I got a key. The key! That one has the priorities. That one has priorities. Oh, 
Oh, we got an army. Where's Abby? She's fit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. Ugh. We'll miss it. We oh, just came do you think they the had beach. her hanging? She's probably already dead. Where's love? Look at how skinny they are. Where did they see the bite? Your your recent bite. Well, isn't that on my the bottom of my left hand? Uh, or did I get I it can. somewhere else? Or maybe my tattoo is a little more obvious lately. Well, the plus side in this is we saved a lot of people. Maybe. At, at least like four people. I made cauliflower pizza from scratch today. Oh, nice. That sounds interesting. What was in it? You know what Tell I'm gonna more. do? Not make cauliflower pizza? <laughs> Not that pizza. Yeah. This is why I just like Twitch Mobile. I put my phone in my pocket and when I take it out, I somehow leave stream. It's okay. Your tickets are still good. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you know good. what? The beams at the top are actually gonna be helpful. Tell me whether or not I'm straight on or not. I think that's good. Okay. Depth of field is fine. Brightness. Let's get to 50. <sighs> Vibrant wasn't so bad. Noir, man. I want it to work out, but unless you have intense lighting, it doesn't seem to. Lauren just it was one time it worked out. Yeah. But much of this game is very dark. In... Th in theme? <laughs> A little bit of calling it, but A and B. Okay, characters are still hidden in the A-frame. Okay, and then just orange, and I think I'm good. If your sisters win, uh, sister, if your sister wins, well, you'll save a lot on postage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk down the hall. Here you go. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> and here's other stuff that Bernice needed to mail you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Orange doesn't work unless I have it bright. Okay, stop. I'm trying to go to saturation. Oh, you know what? I want to see something. Try to make this. That's not bad. What's like? falling asleep in my lap and his eyes have like rolled so like I see the white of his eyes like only and it's like super creepy it's like zombie dog he would never hurt you if he'd only bluff you that's Lewis this is Rowan oh my bad my mind was on Lewis <laughs> clearly <laughs> yeah it's all like white and you see like the the red blood lines Veins, veins, vines, <laughs> blood lines. You have a, a a plant dog, is what you get. All right, thank you guys for your patience. There's a lot of gunfire going down there. Do you think Abby got free? No. Oh. Dude, you're also not in the best condition to refight. We weren't in the best condition when we were in the best condition to fight Abby. Well, okay, you said that those prisoners look skinny. You don't, you think Abby kept her muscles? Uh, it's only been a month, two months maybe. Co a couple months. She wouldn't have gone super anorexic, but she probably did lose a bit of her frame. Unless they kept her bulky, because she he did mention that she was a prize because of her, her bulk. And I wonder if it has to do with, because slave labor, she can do a lot more. 
Oh, that's bleeding a lot now. Bleeding a lot before? Why don't you put one of those bandages over it? Damn, that was quick. You guys move quite fast. Maybe we, they shouldn't have put the weapons right next to the prisoners. Yeah, right. Maybe they shouldn't have prisoners, but <laughs> what am I to say? Here's a thought. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Or what if Bill Knight is like, consider the following. What if? <laughs> Ruth for Helicon Secret says the person who has a hundred tickets in the giveaway <laughs> <laughs> and the max is 50, but they're a subscriber. Oh, yep. Pillars. So they crucify people too now. Boy. Where's the shit? Abby? That's a big bird. Is it vultures? Most likely. You think- oh, That one her. in front? Yeah. Eh, maybe. It might be a, a cop out. Oh no! Oh, he's standing on a thing. He's tippy toed. Do you think they're just kind of knocked out? No, it's not her. It was meant to throw us off. Oh, there we are. They cut her hair. She's like, oh fuck, never mind. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> she looks so different. She has a better haircut than <laughs> Ellie right Okay, now. these endgame haircuts are terrible, guys. Well, hers, I'm pretty sure, was like a control thing. Broken well, knees. it's gonna be just a strangle. Like, at least it's a little bit better of an even fight. Her head looks so big now. I wouldn't know that was Abby until they the game told me it was Abby. Okay, we really need to brace these people before falling. <laughs> She's like, can we do this later? Let me just make sure he's okay. Love. Uh, Joel parallel holding Ellie. Goes this way. Do we not rescue anyone else? Uh, <laughs> poke him with a stick. I, I'm not, I mean, some of them are dead, sure, but. Oh, my geez, Ellie. I don't know if I did that. <laughs> I, I did kind of stop to try and do this. But it was like so like indicative of how tired both of you guys are. Ellie mainly because of a wound, but I'm pretty sure it's from deprivation in every form for her. I'm telling you, blood loss. <laughs> blood loss. Oh, there's the book oh. from the menu. Mm-hmm. Did she check for Love's pulse? He's he said Abby. Oh, I hard to. She's like, just stay here real quick. I got something to talk through. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. I mean, I, there might be a fight coming, but I think this is the end of the game. Well, she can't go back to wherever that farmhouse was, right? I mean, she could try, but with that wound, not. Well, no, not far. bad, but I'm just like Dino's. Like, we're done. Oh, you know? well, she could still try. <laughs> I just don't think she'll be welcomed. Okay. And we're back. In case we forgot why we were here. 
Oh, you gonna let this rage take over? Row. Okay, I was like, don't row this boat. I can't let you leave. Tie this rope. Rope back up real quick. I've had a hell of a two months. The sunburn, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know my degrees, but I want to say at least second. I'm not gonna fight you. Now it becomes Ellie's really becoming like the bad guy kind of idea. You would go as far as kill a child, Ellie. Think about this. But well, now, she gets a knife and she doesn't? But now, like, Ellie's no better than she was when she came for Joel. Yeah. You're raiding tonight or tomorrow? Oh, I wasn't hitting the right button. <laughs> okay, I was like, um, is that how that fight was supposed to end? Okay, Sorry. no, no one was that. Wait, but Ellie was the chosen one! <laughs> no, that was Sasha not pushing square. <laughs> I don't know if that's a clear indicator that Ellie doesn't die, or that just... Owies. <laughs> she still got some more muscle, even with some deprivation. She has form. I mean... Yeah, it's not like she trained. forgot how to fight. No. But... God, her frame looks so weird skinny. I bulk up too now. <laughs> if she oh, twists that, it, that be is. If she, if she twists it, cause like that's not gonna close. How is this fight gonna end? Not well for either of them, I'm sure. And I wonder if she even feels like this is a fair fight anymore, too. Because it's not like the Abbey we, we encountered. This dance with this dagger right now. Ah! Sorry, Rowan. That's... Not particularly fatal, but it sucks. Okay, oh, we've lost the knife. To the water. <laughs> ladies, Which... ladies, please. You're both handsome. <laughs> fucking pathetic moans and groans right now is just sad. <laughs> and then, eh. Dude, and salt water on those open wounds? And, like, probably dehydration. Anyways. You guys can take a lot of hits. I'll, I'll give you that. Well, over how many hits did Ellie take to the head from yeah. a fully trained Abby? Is this it? I want to say yes because of all the trailers showing... Ellie in this horrible haircut, full of blood, drowning someone, I'm guessing? Ooh, she's gonna bite your finger off! She did! Oh, she did! She went Elizabeth Bowshock on her! Okay, cool. <laughs> We did. Because <laughs> we did one thing About a An hour play. and a half? Well, we're at 49 minutes right now on the second. 
Now I know why there was fan art without fan. <laughs> I know we completely fucked each other up right now. All salt wound on that bit finger. Now I can leave? <laughs> I hope she just realizes it's never gonna go away. PTSD? Yeah. If it was so easy to get rid of PTSD- well, I mean, Oh, that's a lot. Two fingers? Two fingers? Hi, Twitch chat! <laughs> EG! <laughs> Hi, Twitch chat! <laughs> well, at least she got her, got her beat in. And you can't say she didn't try. Well, I I don't think it's the point of not trying, but... Well, it's more... It was out of her own agency, not that she gave up because of... She didn't want Dina to die, but she gave up because she just realized this is there's an endless cycle. Kind of give up. I don't know about that. She just had... Because every time she's been seeing a flashback of Joel, he's been beaten and... Oh, both fingers. To a, yeah, two fingers. <laughs> but the two fingers that matter are still there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this picture from a lot of people. So I was like, okay, well, she leaves the farm. You ain't welcome here. She has a shotgun. Enrique! Hello. Hopefully nothing happened to him while I was gone, or maybe she went back to Jackson. Because being out here by herself is a little harder. Oh yeah, she went back to Jackson. And she moved the furniture too? Jeez. Well, I think she took certain things, because obviously not everything's gone. The light changed just now. Very faint upstairs. Alright, well. Look, it's the window. Well, it's not the window, but it's a very similar window. Yeah. Yeah, farm is a lot bathroom. harder with just you and a babe. Because you can't always be with the baby, nope. watching the baby. And between so many years, there's so many things that can go wrong. Because babies are adventurous. Oh, the wallpaper got even more dilapidated. I know, it finally fell. Look at yourself. You have no potato now. I wonder if she's gonna lie to Tommy about- Oh, is there something in your journal about this? <laughs> Oh, there is. She's trying, choosing to remember the good times, maybe? Oh, there's a whole entry. Would it have been better if I stayed? Yes. Twelve of the regret, dead, shame. Given them what's left of me, was it mine to give? Do I still have it to give? Can offer the scraps now? Grow some bone, shoot up and rotting. Or will it make them sick? Grow their insides, poison, cripple them. I could be in the woods. Buried for the insects to clean, left for the insects to clean. Until this iron smell is gone. Until I'm bleached and beautiful, brutal, ready to display. She can't play guitar anymore. Oh yeah. Can't she? Uh, I guess you just learn how to use the other parts of your fingers. That is a great fucking curtain you didn't decide to take. Just saying. <laughs> it's not like you have abundance of fucking shower curtains. She didn't take everything. Is that maybe Ellie's pillow and blanket and all that? Yeah. And her jacket? 
Well, I doubt she wouldn't be welcome in Jackson. She'll probably still be welcomed in Jackson. She's just not... Her and Nina ain't a thing anymore. Yeah. Oh, she didn't oh, touch this... her room at all. Yeah. Oh, look. She took some of Joel's uh, sculptures, too. Sick habit. Is that the window? <laughs> you can see the tractor. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. Not noir, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Let's try vibrant for now. Boat. I think if I will be on Monster Hunter t tonight, hosting Shooting Stars and Celeste right now. No problem. I don't know if you're talking to me, but <laughs> no problem. No, I, I'm working tomorrow night. That's her sister. No, yeah, that's what I. I wasn't sure if she's saying that to like everyone, or Enrique in particular. Don't worry, the others called it a night. Ah, that was to Dirk. I forgot to tag him. But, yeah, every single time she's had, like, uh, an image of Joel pop up in her mind, it's him beaten, bloody, and to a pulp, you know? That yeah. was the first time where he wasn't. So I think it's, like, her mind finally being like, this is enough. Yeah. Back home, now to put away clothes. Okay. That's what she really should have done from day one, to be honest. Put away clothes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't quite get that window where I'd want it, and the foreground where I'd want it. Nah, forget it. This is not yeah. Right. To be. Too many things to mess with. Oh, it's the record that she was playing the night before. You think it's gonna have a note? Fuck you. <laughs> Is this the- no, this isn't the house where she plays. Alright. Oh. I- I guess not. For some reason- Oh, my bad. Okay. I don't know. I thought you needed all your fingers. I was assuming that. Uh, what if I ever lose you? I'm playing it horribly, but at least I know that. <laughs> Isn't that just like the take on me? No, the um. If I ever would lose you, I'd surely lose myself. She's losing herself. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've seen the guitar, like, not in the best shape. How long do you think it's been? It took her a couple months. Here's the ending. To go get there. So I'm taking it. Memory time. Honestly, all she can do now is think of the good times. Like, that's the only way she can get through this. Oh, is this right after she said she was never talking to him, you know, with the hospital scene? Oh, yeah. Look at you with all ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. 
It's his cup with the owl. Yeah, it is. He likes coffee. Yeah, he does like coffee. He mentioned it in the uh, first game, I think. Mm -hmm. He said that's the one thing he misses the most. Sex? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I want to know what you traded. They... That's my ultimatum. Yeah. I know, Pistol? some of the things... I had Seth. Oh, this is so it is happening. Oh, this is very so recent. that wasn't... You need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Mm. So this is the night- this is literally the night of the dance. This is probably after the dance. Yeah, so after... Um, so this is not the last words we- we didn't- these are what her real last words were to him. Yeah. Is she your girlfriend? Dad! No. No, she that was just one kiss, it doesn't mean anything, she just- but you do like her. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but <laughs> that boy's intentions. I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Aw. Duh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Classic dad moment. I was supposed to die in that hospital. Oh, okay. My life would have fucking mattered. It matters to he other people. She'll never be able to feel like her life is worth it. Better than, you know, saving humanity kind of thing. There's a lot to live up to. But it matters to him, and it matters to the people she's meeting now. He, you know he'd do it all over again. I would do it all yep. over again. Well, I mean, it's you, Joel. <laughs> I don't doubt it at all. New Game Plus! <laughs> we'll do it all over again! <laughs> all the way from the beginning, guys. Yeah. I don't think he cares. <laughs> Not in a mean way, I just- I think- Try. Huh? With your babies. So, a lot of emotions are on high that night too. Because yeah. they're rekindling even better than before. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Well, I mean, she's not. She doesn't know that Abby's <laughs> and Co. It's not like crew. But I think she said enough. I would say if, you know, his life didn't end the way it did, but it did end that night, you know? Yeah. Or That tomorrow. was a good way to go with that mm -hmm. words. No, oh, here's the oh. loading screen <laughs> where the knife will probably be stabbed into the the banner? What's that called? The... Uh, window pane? No. The... Windowsill. Yeah. Joel gave her that guitar. Joel taught her how to play guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's like a visual letting it letting rest. go. Yeah, letting it go. Yeah. Her symbol is the the moth. Mm -hmm. You know. Refocusing on the moth. 
Okay, not. I thought we were gonna see like Ellie walking out or something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's like, God damn it! Now I got another long walk back home. <laughs> Man, hosting sucks. First I got the wrong Dodo code that we disconnected, so I missed everything you just said to me in chat, Bernice. Just rewatch it later. No worries. I don't know. Was that ending bleak because... I thought this she was had... perfect. I... I perfect I think is a big word, but... Sorry. You're... I think it's the song that's like, if I were to lose you, I'd lose myself, and she lost everything, and I get how that would be bleak, but mm -hmm. this is... You know, it's... Like, I feel a... like this is all very human. Uh, her... The revenge seeking and everything. But I always feel like people can change. And Abby changed dramatically between the time she killed Joel to the end of this game. To the yeah. point where just because she killed Joel wasn't enough of a warrant anymore. Now, bad guys in games usually don't evolve and that's because it makes it easier to kill them because they're just mm -hmm. they're still evil in all their ways um and i felt like ellie chasing after this was being no better than the the abby that once was and no better like she's just falling into a deep dark hole so yeah. her choosing to let her go wasn't a sign of weakness or of giving up it was actually the most control she's ever had on herself in this whole game so far. Yeah, she actually, she had Abby. If she had kept Abby down, Abby would have drowned. Like, she actually had the upper hand on Abby. And it shows that she was going to win that fight. Change. She's seen... Yeah. Because, and all really, like, if Abby didn't have that little change of character in that moment we got to play her, she would have killed D Dina in a heartbeat. Yep. And she was going to. Yeah. Yeah, I hope Ellie or Dina didn't try and find Ellie either. I don't think she would have. No, I, she has a babe. Um, yeah, she has a baby, and we haven't seen Dina to make decisions like that. Rash. She's there. She's pretty rational. Uh, she well, uh -huh. rom uh, romantically inclined, she can be pretty spontaneous. But as far right, as like survival, she's trying to. F yeah, because when we were in Seattle day one, she she kept like ping pong ideas of like what could Joel have done to warrant such She's, an act? Yeah, because it's not like people travel across a fucking country to find one person to kill. There's something he did. So she was trying to give, like, that understanding of it. Uh, EG said, This makes me believe that the third installment will end Ellie's story, because from here we don't know what happens. Well, Neil wanted to show that the side of Ellie from part one was still there. Well, yeah, that's what- I felt like we lost a lot of what we- Because every time we had a flashback when Ellie was young, we lost that spark of life that she used to be. And she got more and more grim after the Firefly incident because of that. Because yeah. she's trying to understand whether or not she was worth living compared to, you know, saving humanity stuff. Well, what was the meaning, purpose, meaning and purpose of her life? Mm -hmm. And she, Joel took that away. And, like, she- it- Understandably, she would be angry at first for that, and it takes a lot to forgive. It, this it seems like this this game was trying to force forgiveness and change, because that's not something people usually give into. Uh, they give into. I could definitely see anger. like the old Ellie from part one there, where she's like, because it was about the love that she had for Joel. Mm hmm. And she and wanted that. to remember that. Yeah. She chose to remember that. Honestly, I feel like if we have a part three, I feel she'll find her own version of. Ellie. Her own version of Ellie, like, because she lost it all in the end of this. She did lose it all, mm -hmm. and it was because of her actions that she lost it all. And I hope, like, I honestly don't think, just like this game, uh, or the first game, I didn't think it needed a part two, but I am interested in seeing more of the world. Like, it's a kind of, I'm, uh, mixed feelings on it. But I do know the more you kind of stretch a story, the more you can kind of ruin it. There were some weak parts to this game, I'm not mm -hmm. It, this game was not, like... There are parts that are, you know, 10 out of 10. But there are parts that are not so much. I think it has a lot to do with this game is still trying to be a game. Because I feel like a lot of uh, Abby's section, we didn't need as many encounters as they gave us. Because we already know how this game plays. They could have shortened yes. it with more of just character development. But I think they wanted to give us that because it would make us really humanize like, and identify why Abby is the way she is. No, I love that part. I'm just saying, like, encounters, like, 
fighting mobs of zombies or mobs of oh, yeah. this and that. Like the, the obvious gameplay parts of this game. Like the whole Rat King part? That wasn't necessary. Mm, yeah, like that was cool. I just don't think we... Like that could have been a major section by cutting out another section. Like running away from the wolves or... Yeah, I don't know. Like the section where she's climbing the tower with Lev. That was a great character building moment. And I love it. Yeah. But um, that was that was her being her, mm-hmm. not not motivated by tracking down my father's killer, not motivated by the wolves' um, goals. And that was her own goal was yeah. to, and that was a goal she made for herself, which was to help save Yara's arm by going to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And she faced her fears to do that. Did she get over her fear? No. But was that the point? And she was no. vulnerable, <laughs> and we saw Lev, someone that she used to kill these people in Roves, basically show her forgiveness and understanding. Yeah. If somehow, some way, anyway, that I do have a daughter one day, I want her to be just like Ellie, because I already have a connection with Joel that I can relate to. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Ellie's a great character. Uh, she's horribly hurt by the world that she is in, but it's a great example of like how do you live and what would you live for in this world anyway but uh, and, I can I understand that's... why people think okay people who only base this game off of the spoilers which is dumb to begin with it's like reading a synopsis of an entire story and then judging it um, I can see how this seems kind of unwarranted and, and kind of simple like oh that's dumb it's she just let her go it wasn't that like if you played it from beginning to end it wasn't just that there was so much weight there and there's so much character development on both ellie and abby's side and they're breaking the cycle they if 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 it wasn't apparent we keep saying parallels and there's parallels everywhere and they're showing how they're both doing the exact same thing that is destroying their lives and they both eventually bounce back I think another way of seeing it is just that she saved, um, Mm -hmm. like, she could have saved humanity, Mm -hmm. but another way of saving humanity is just rebuilding, and she was rebuilding. She -hmm. she built with Dina and JJ, but she chose to throw that away. Oh, the, the, their <laughs> name was Large Rattler and Small Rattler? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, those kind of make Portable sense. Gamer Girl! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whitney. An Asian person that died. Seraphites. There was okay. only eight different Seraphites, guys. <laughs> well, with the amount of names that keep calling each other. Eight different wolves. She would have lived her lesbian dreams on that farm. I'm speaking for Sten. <laughs> She seriously could have lived her life. She would have had PTSD. That doesn't go away. But it no. it will eventually... The spans of time when it comes back uh, get larger. And there's ways you could live with it. People have. And... Yeah. Um, I just worry about the whole Joy Luck Club moment I keep talking about with the baby. Because I kept thinking that was going to be the grim part. Honestly, this game... Okay, yes, it's grim. But it's not as grim as everyone... And grim and bleak as everyone was trying to say it was. Like... Maybe also my perception of something being bleak and grim is a lot far darker than the game kind of portrayed. But I'm glad it didn't go areas I thought it was gonna. I'm glad it didn't go in the way that Ellie completely loses her mind and accidentally kills either Dina or the baby. Um, I am surprised that not one or the other died. I thought for sure maybe Ellie because of her, en- her endless, relentless like revenge cycle. No, I, I I think I knew Ellie would survive because it would be bleaker knowing that she survived, but she has nothing to show for it. I guess so. But, I mean, that's not... You survived is the key word. I just don't... Well, Dina was like, if you leave, like, I just have to assume that you're gone. Like, she can't wait. And it's fair of Dina to issue such an ultimatum. I'm assuming Ellie is older at the end of the game. I want to say maybe about a year and a half has passed since the beating of her lifetime <laughs> from Abby. Uh, I uh definitely a year, a year because of the baby nine month stuff. Yeah. But 
Uh, it was only a couple weeks pregnant at that point. Yeah, and I don't know how many, how long she was gone between now and uh, Santa Barbara, but those treks are very long considering it's not like she had a horse or like vehicles or straight paths for that matter. Yes. So it could she be. She had to one... go through. Like, she went around Las Vegas, mm-hmm. through Palmdale, and to Santa Barbara. So straight up, she at most like two years minimum one year like between that for sure but yeah so she could be no she was 19 at the beginning of this game so uh 2021 um but it just because this the when she went to santa barbara she didn't have a berber she didn't have a a horse it was just by foot Maybe yeah. she could have found something along the way, but honestly, it would help it. us. Like, cause how we figured out the distance between Jackson and Seattle, we don't have a distance from the farmhouse because we, have Cause we don't know where the farmhouse. Yeah. Post credit scene? I don't know. <laughs> we're letting it play regardless, cause it's time to talk. Um, but yeah. I like it. Uh, the ending wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I do feel like Santa Barbara was definitely tacked on at the end. Um, but. Yeah, I would say this game is still between an 8 and a 9 out of 10 for me. For me. I can't comment on gameplay because I didn't play the game at all. I can definitely tell Uh, you it's way better than the first game. (laughs) (laughs) Way better. I enjoyed it. I like the ending. Um, I don't... I I know you hate Abby, Mm EG, but... And you're watching too. I still get my review. Um, oh, I can read your review now, actually. It was on Facebook, right? Oh, yeah, we can check it out. Yeah. Um, I don't hate Abby. Japanese I don't. voice cast. Damn. Militia male, militia female, scar female, scar male, Emily. Because for me, right away, um, the fact that they were hunting down Joel and that we knew the things Joel has done before. Now, I thought it was going to be something other horrible thing he did. But yeah. it being the Firefly thing still makes sense and is totally warranted on what they did. Oh, and it allowed them to that we didn't have to like play some or watch some new sequence of what he did. Mm-hmm. We'd already experienced and processed those emotions of what he did. So it was good that they, they decided that. to yeah. they chose that instead of some other uh, whatever other thing he did that we didn't know about. Yeah. So that made it easier to for storytelling reasons that you didn't have to like exposit exposition that and it wasn't just um, ellie being a firefly and angry that he messed up the firefly's agenda it was her yeah. father and it quite literally in their eyes destroyed the chance of becoming back to civilization again of the old it world. was it destroyed her family destroyed her family's purpose mm-hmm. where like ellie lost her purpose which was to be the cure for humanity oh yeah that's a parallel the fireflies right? lost their purpose she, her, like her position in the fireflies was lost because her dad was gone like yeah. so this is the same song by the way that that is sung in the trailers and in the movie for 1917 uh-huh and uh it still is beautiful but it's a very hauntingly nice song i think it's probably the the girl's vocals that makes it haunting well it's it's context uh, both yeah. are in a it's they're totally different topics obviously but 1917 it was like a kid singing in the field before they go out to possibly just die but it was I like figured when Abby going home. Joel, that would explain Joel's past during the 20 years before Joel met Ellie that's what I thought it was going to be too oh there's Joel's time but I love that it did come back to a story we did know like you were saying uh, Bernice because yeah. I I as I would take a story that they manufactured for whatever reason, it still makes sense to me that it's connected to the the doctor and to the fireflies and to the end of the game. It wasn't just tacked on, you know. I especially like it uh, for that because you tried, you specifically tried to not kill that doctor. Oh yeah every time and it, it's like you can't avoid it and it's not like they thought of this ahead of time but it's more like in their mind it's very it easy matter. to retcon that because they yeah. already made it like yeah. that so it's like 
Uh, I know I said it the first time, but the first time I got to that point in the game with the, the doctor, I shot him in the foot thinking I can, you know, maim him to get out of my way. And it immediately killed him. He ragdolled and died. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I left the other two doctors alive, which I thought were doctors. I guess they're just like nurses or something. Because uh, they kept emphasizing that they only had that doctor to do brain surgery. Yeah. Excuse me. But um, Abby's maliciousness uh, on killing Joel, um, maybe it's just I'm, I'm a super open-minded person. I just felt like there's more here that I don't know and I need to ask questions. And I would make enemies right away because people are like, why aren't you angry? She killed Joel! And I was like, yes, yes. But why? We have Abby's story now. And, and she showed mercy right. back then too. She let Tommy go. She let Ellie go back mm -hmm. then. Mainly Owen, so. I think, was the one who did that. But I, that also showed a different character that they came here specifically for Joel. Yeah. Um, it's not like they couldn't have killed him. They're both vulnerable. Yeah. But um. Oh, is there like gonna be somebody in the boat now? Oh, oh it's cute. beached. Oh, this is pretty. Yes, I did unlock new game plus. What I had to do. I am very happy she chose uh, the high road, so to speak. It's hard to choose The that. highest road that she could possibly take it's at that point. It's very hard for people to choose that. The highest road would have been to not go, but she, she already passed that road, that exit, so down this highway. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that she did. Because the dance mm -hmm. scene that she handled would have left her with so much regret. Yeah. I'm um, happy she forgave him, too. I'm happy that it didn't end with her telling him off at the dance floor kind of thing. And the last word she actually spoke to him was they, she wanted to grow and change and be worth living, you know? Which is that, great. Yeah, and then that she understands her his love for her. Mm -hmm. and, and it's tough to accept that because um, parents make tough decisions all the time. Uh, albeit it could be selfish or not, but it is with the right intentions in mind or good intentions and uh Speaking of Tommy, I he has to be involved in dlc of the big dlc right um he might be tommy's going down the dark only... road right now yeah um for me it could be because i'm watching it through share plan the quality is not always the best but it was hard for me to see that he lost an eye i i went like, into his model by the his... way and i it doesn't look like it's not white if anything but that eyelid is definitely harder to lift. Like, it looks like... Yeah, she like his damaged. face got messed up. Oh, yeah. let, let's see if any new models that we got. Model view. This takes a moment, so I might have it's to start. It's more like a lazy eye thing. Yeah, I think... Because uh, it was in the side of his face, for sure. Uh, not yeah. so lucky with Jesse. That was a straight on. But, yeah. um... Alright. <laughs> we get ugly haircut, Ellie. God, that haircut. <laughs> She's just squinting the entire time. <laughs> Epilogue, Ellie. Still not a fan of the haircut. Now she's missing fingers, too. Yeah. That's... I mean, you'll live, but Jesus Christ. So the spoiler I saw on Twitter, by the way, was uh -huh. saying someone saying, same energy, and they posted this, and they posted Circe when she had her hair cut and she was walking down naked. Jeez. It's a shame. And I'm like, <laughs> God damn it. It's like, really? Like. Between but... Glenn and Joel? Glenn. <laughs> I am Negan. I finally see the stream, and yeah, not a fan of the hair. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of how it looks. But I, um, the symbolism here, too, with uh, Abby losing her bulk, uh, which made her a powerhouse. And her hair, because her hair seems to have been uncut almost virtually since the day she lost her dad. And I think it has she's a lot to do. She's with... always had her hair in the same hairstyle. Ellie's mm -hmm. changed it a bit. She, you know, had a half up all in a bun, but Santa Barbara Liv. Someone should tell Liv that boys can have luxurious long hair as well. Yes. Oh, when at Christmas? Oh, when at Christmas? Oh, when at- oh, it's, uh... Oh, when- okay, yeah. I hear a puppy yawn. That would be Lewis. And I can't- 
Oh, forward operations base. That's what FOB is. Forward operations base? Oh. Yes. JJ, I'm so glad you lived. This is a huge pedestal for you. <laughs> uh, the horses. Prisoner? Oh, the one, the one oh, down the, one. the top? Yes, I'm guessing. I read clicker mail. Did I buy the wrecking? I did. Babble! I did buy oh, this. Oh, jeez. It takes up the whole screen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, the, the stalker half? Yeah. I thought that was a clicker half, but I guess it makes sense. Alright, I have 200 but points. It, Do I want to buy all this? It, you probably thought it was a clicker half because it probably behaved like a clicker. Mm -hmm. But then it looked like a stalk, you know? Like... I think he'd match Baby Yoda. You know they didn't use a real baby? <laughs> they used a full-grown adult. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's get Whitney and her PS Vita. She was playing Hotline Miami, by the way. I looked it up. Hotline Ma Miami Chubby is Chubby. a game about revenge. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that now, yeah. I do remember that it was Hotline Miami from other people's reaction videos, but not from playing it. Like, I played maybe five seconds of that game. Shame, let's plug! Oh, she was looking for uh, Abby's voice actors. Did you guys find the PS3? Several of them, yes. All right. How okay. could we not find the PS3? So we have Ellie before Firefly situation. First time we see Troll Ellie older. This is after Firefly situation, but her birthday when they go to the yeah thing. museum. Revenge Ellie. Uh Ellie. Not accepting Joel's lie. No, no, that was Patrol Ellie. That was like her first time on patrol. Yeah, but it, I they feel like her going to the hospital was shortly after that event, like within the week. Yeah, maybe. well, a little bit. Yeah. Why do we get that pin? WTF? <laughs> right. Ah. <sighs> Oh, shameless plug, you're talking about the Vita? That makes sense, actually. It's an indirect shameless plug, too. I'm letting you back in since we're gonna be on this menu for a while. But alright, we should at least start the uh, giveaway for those who are still here. Alright, guys, around. this is your last chance to enter the giveaway. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you need more tickets, always know that you can gamble your stars to get more stars. Yep. How much time do we want to give them? Uh, I'd say five minutes. Okay. It's not that difficult. Sorry, and most people see. have entered with max tickets anyway, so... Anyone Get those tickets left? in. E. Get those tickets in. <laughs> Who needs to gamble when you can when you own galaxies? <laughs> uh. Congrats, Congrats to the one. <laughs> hasn't happened. No yet. one's won yet. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> yeah, get those entries in. Anyone who's watching who hasn't commented, get your entries in. I bet Aggie will win. Um, the only one who can't win would be uh, Tina, but she's not. She hasn't entered. Plus, she, yeah. she hasn't played the game, or I don't think she has any interest in it. So, it, she wouldn't have even if she wanted to. Yeah. All right, I'm headed out. Can I, you don't want to enter, Enrique? You don't want a chance to win. Last of Us gear, a little art book. You'll get a crafted item by Bernice. Last of Us theme, a drawing of a character of your choice by me, and uh, there's other stuff. What was it? <laughs> oh, uh, currency of the console of your choice. Platform. I think it was like ten dollars. I said. I don't know how to enter. You go exclamation mark tickets and then how many tickets you want to buy? I'd say there's a good handful of you guys here who actually played the game and enjoy it. So it's not yeah. like it's going to go to anyone that didn't. And even if you didn't play the game, like you guys enjoyed watching the experience. Like, like I know you, Bernice, you still like your, your cool bunny shirt. And I love that cool bunny shirt. Yeah, and, like, and you only see that cool bunny like for all of like a minute. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, Were you able to get back in? 
Oh, I'm trying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. Did, could not connect. Various forms of distressed Ellie. Man, her Santa uh, Barbara, she just does not look good. No. She has a bra on. Hmm. I'm sorry, it is so hot and we're walking around. She went through deserts, by the way. Yes. Las Vegas and Palmdale. I, mean, I don't know what time of the year it was, but regardless. Joel and yeah, Sarah that should be mad. In heaven? In heaven? What? I saw... Space. You gotta have a space between the tickets. <laughs> I did see the, 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 the Joel and Ellie photo when she's like... Joel and Sarah photo when she's in her soccer match. She won her soccer, soccer match. Alright, Enrique's in for 50 tickets. For the first game, at least. Yeah, you, can't you said keep that going. you said five minutes at ten twenty eight. Just a heads up. Okay. Sure, I'll see it. Did you? I do feel relieved, by the way, for two reasons. No one can spoil anything more on this game <laughs> for me that I haven't already obviously seen. Uh, second reason is now I can play this game on my off time to do all the collectibles and missed stuff that I missed. Well, what, what? How many things did you actually miss as Abby, uh, though? I don't know. For reals. Abby, not so many. Uh, but there are, like, work benches and stuff maybe I missed, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, because there's trophies. One trophy is to find all the work benches, yeah? I wonder what kind of haircut would look good. No, maybe. stop buffering! <laughs> no! All right, guys. Are we ready? How Are bad's the buffer, by the way? Um, uh, I don't know. It's not that bad. But I do understand the love for Abby, though, on Twitter. Like, people saying they'll love her. It isn't- it, 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 Now I know versus, like, I thought people were just being edgy because she's, like, an antagonist kind of thing. Like, they actually have enough to warrant why you'd like her. God, she looks so weird. And she's like... She dude. lost the... F she she looks so hopeful in her Santa Barbara outfit. Yeah, like she, with Lev. Like, yeah. She looks happy better. here. Yeah. But it's never that easy, is it? It's never that easy. I can't even... like you, I would not Finish, know that's I was the same so person. glad I can look at social media because I didn't trust anyone. Exactly. It, there's such a weight lifted on me, but at the same time, like, an excitement. Now I can go back in with, like, New Game Plus. Oh, let's show you. This is Tommy after the farm. Are you in? Sorry. Yes, I am. Okay. It's hard to see. It's really hard to see. He looks- he has, like, an Odin thing going on right now. He does. He, uh, looks like Gerard Butler a little. Yeah. These models are insane, by the way. But see, like, his eye doesn't look like it's white. Excuse me. Keep burping. But you can see the scars from where it probably should yeah, open. It healed very well, in my opinion. It's fucking that art incredible. makes me hurt. Okay, all right, guys, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, there we go. I'ma close it. Oh, he's on the balls of his feet. Stare at the baby. With this cross, you're gonna eye. zoom in on the baby. You know it. Oh, that's zoom out. Wow. He's teething, though. I hope Dino was oh, well. Look at how glossy his eyes are. The winner is Enrique! Woo! <laughs> the person who didn't want to do it! <laughs> That's an ugly baby. <laughs> He's ugly in a cute way, okay? He's a chubby baby. Congratulations, Enrique! Yeah, did, did, did you not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, really? Lol. <laughs> Don't get too excited. The winner's Enrique Rowan. Lol. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> One still, of you is more excited than the other. We still partially save on shipping. <laughs> yes! <laughs> His pajamas are so cute and not stained with blood. Whoa. There's something going on with it. He has, like, little face pimples. Yeah, he does not have smooth skin. Just have Helica deliver- yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he has alligators. Maybe a tiger. A giraffe. A giraffe. I, I, I mean, do you not want it? Elephant? Yep, I'll, I'll just wear JJ's onesie. 
Are, are you, you not, not excited? excited? Yeah, for sure. Wait, are are you not excited? I'll just sword JJ's. The craft item is actually JJ's onesie. <laughs> Bernice has made that. it. <laughs> she didn't make it yet because she needs to make sure you know who won. <laughs> I have to make it fit a, a grown person. <laughs> First, I have to make it. Then I have to make it. So I you gotta I find that pattern, that. hopefully. I'm not making a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel bad. For one, you are a genuine fan of the game. You played it. You like it. You went through it. Second, you are a follower. You didn't just come in here to try and win something. And like, last minute entry, sometimes it does that. I think I think Tina was also one that was just kind of playing along, right? Yeah, she did. And then she won. So, uh, no, the... Hey, no worries, man. We all friends here. <laughs> so, the... Guys, I already know what the crafted item is. I just haven't crafted it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Wong because me and what's his face gave her a billion points. That's true. Yes. yes. You guys kept also true. And that's when I learned that you do not <laughs> make the max amount of tickets 50,000. <laughs> so I learned that from that one. And then I learned that, like, hey, I don't want to keep my computer on for days at a time. So I'm just going to open the raffle for the day of. <laughs> you know, things like that. I wonder how many. Well, what can I say? I was low. Need. Low place, I think. <laughs> like, I want to uh, unlock all the concept art, but honestly, I have the art book. And model viewer is not something I can have in reality. Is it, is it this art book? Because Enrique will be the proud owner of this art book. Mm hmm. Da -da -da -da. What can you say? I was in love. Love plays a thing. <laughs> love plays a thing is the greatest line I've ever heard. <laughs> some good. Hey, Big Daddy. Were you here for the drawing? You were here for the drawing. Sure. I'm just gonna start unlocking these as I go. All right, but that. <laughs> That's how RNG works, you know, like. Mm -hmm. I don't care to have Isaac, but fuck it. Scar Island. Jerry at the zoo. <laughs> Who, me? This guy. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, you are so dorky looking. You are a doctor, but. Get there. Who are these? Buckskins, Mare, and Seal Bay Gelding? Is that the name of them? A type of horse, I guess. Did Mare Japan die? I'm a, I don't know if Japan died. Uh, I think that Japan le was left behind, so it was safe in that sense. Oh, Japan? Sarah Fight Emily. She got... Yeah, that's from the trailer. Yeah, that was her only... Oh yeah! <laughs> it's Bertha. My brood. Big Bertha. I like how it's always raining for them. Oh, it's a big guy too from the end. Damn. Ambush. Large rattler. Oh, Jesus. He has no eyebrows. It maybe got singed off, okay? Yeah, true. Same with his hair, I guess. That guy. You knew he was gonna die. Why does he get two? Did we see is two different versions different of him? I guess. I, I guess I never looked at him long enough to notice. Ball Rattler. Oh, man. Prisoner. Everyone's heads look so big because they're initiated. Jackson Runner. The Snow. Wolf Runner. Oh, I ran there, out of money. Her. Or points, whatever you want to call them. Right as we got to all the zombies. <laughs> this is not so bad. What is it, 10 per or so? Yeah. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 more. How do you get P? I'm just playing the game doing stuff. So I guess when I play the game on New Butt Game Plus, I'll also get more. Probably enough to get all the models. Uh, also, Shannon Woodard is gold. She's gorgeous. She is. Shannon Woodard is. Isn't, isn't that the, um, 
<laughs> I'll take, I demand the book delivered by a beautiful maiden. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> this. <laughs> Sorry, you said Jesus loves I burned snow. his ass. You told me that. You keep telling me how you burned her. And so did my girl who faces Dina. Yeah, the actress. Or the I guess she's like more of a model. Uh it looks like she died way before the events of the game. The worship the the Seraphite uh Messiah. Yeah. But okay, I just, Enrique. I, there was I wanna say like low points of the game was like Santa Barbara introducing this random human group. Mm -hmm. It was too giving short them to a have name, a, you know. Yeah. yeah, like I wouldn't have minded if it was a little more into the game, but it did feel like it was just thrown in there. I love the whole terrain and everything is so different from like just trees upon trees and rain. Yes, but it was not enough of it to make it feel like it was purposely there. All right, Nuke Plus. You're gonna have to hold a sec, because I gotta see how much I missed. <laughs> Alright, Jackson. Three more artifacts left. Wait, sorry. Uh, two more trading cards. One journal entry. Not so bad otherwise. Oh my god, Seattle Day 1 is probably the largest, I think. Oh yeah, because it was that open area. Huge. So missing four artifacts. <laughs> Six? Oh, isn't that the girl from, like, the, uh... Like she she played a pregnant teenager, or or she's a divergent <laughs> girl. Oh, I do. So Enrique, let me know what you want me to draw. Uh, who you want me to draw? Sorry, I did not put my drawing stuff next to me. I have no idea where it's been. I have not drawn in a while. <laughs> it's in the house Sasha. somewhere. I remember when. It Sasha started Animal Crossing like, I've arted for the first time this year! I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and it's a tiny square that goes into a flag. <laughs> but let me know who you want drawn. Um, I, I could draw it live or I can just, you know, record myself, do a time-lapse recording of it. Um, and draw. post it up. Oh, who can I pick from for a draw? It has to be Last of Us theme. Anyone in The Last of Us from part one to two. Rat King! Wrecking. God <laughs> damn it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any like pin up style like I did before or anything. It's just going to be like. <laughs> pin up wrecking. Pin up Abby was hard enough. But, um. No, we must go further. We it'll must be do a like a portrait. Mm, roughly yay big. Yay. Oh, uh, what was that? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to show you measurements. Um, like, two by four. Four, two by three or something like that it's a, like a small card but uh it'll be kind of like a portraiture three-fourths <laughs> view of the character <laughs> <Wrecking Pin -up. laughs> we allow he's not saying anything bad <laughs> i don't even know how to move its body <laughs> in a way that'd be seductive <laughs> It'll have to be cartoony, what are you too. About? It's all curves. It's all curves. You know what, Enrique? For you, I'll try. And I'll time lapse it. For the racking thing up. <laughs> it will be traditional because I feel like it has a little more weight since it's one of a kind. <laughs> Go ahead and frame that in your house. But, um. Hang it up. It's got it's gotta go past the refrigerator. Above your bed. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, Rat King with the uh with the stalker attached or without the stalker attached? <laughs> with these conversations out of context. <laughs> um, we could do a stream. I'll probably just do it on one of our offers. Rat King, who is he? You don't know who Rat King is? Look. Oh wait, Helica. <laughs> Look who's stealing your man's heart. <laughs> Rat King. Who is he? Who is it he? You've met him because you saw the past stream of it. I just don't think- uh, no one ever really said the name of it. We just found out when we bought the model for it. Rat King bit up! Oops. I cut a gun down. I didn't know. Uh, once it loads, I'm gonna view. 
In all its glory. All of it. That is the Rat King. Oh, yes, so many legs you can use. <laughs> alright, alright. The brunt of the body is definitely the bloater, or whatever that is. Damn, you're basically You don't have to have a Rat King every day, I just think it's funny. <laughs> Come on, look at the curves on that! <laughs> oh, I would remember that. <laughs> You're in the second trailer when Ellie is pulled by Jesse, but in the game is Joel. Yes! Yeah, they I... did that on purpose. Yeah. And I then... like it because it means that I can, uh, I don't have to take what I saw for, like, for fact, and I can, you know, still be somewhat surprised. So sexy. It was the Ground Zero one? Yes. So this is um, the result of some of the very first infected of Seattle. And then they were never quite dealt with until Abby found them. Yeah, they were years. left in like a very warm, confined area. <laughs> There's hairs on it. <laughs> Just gets gross the more I look at it. <laughs> Stop One. zooming in! Please keep thanks. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, it's slowing so down. He's in its crotch, I think. Yeah, that's the one that splits off. That's why it split off. It's like, man, I've been here for too long. <laughs> this crotch oh, magic. Zoom in. <laughs> oh, man. Gay's having a moment. I have all the reference I will ever need. There's a nipple. <laughs> or what would have been a nipple, maybe. Are you sure? I think there's a nipple on the back, too. <laughs> Or t there's a couple nipples on the back if you there because there's that there's a female right there. Oh, I guess no they nipple. don't ever show nipple, huh? In this, they've been I very guess. prominent on hiding it. I wonder if it's like rating stuff. But oh, I look at that! And of Sunny's face right there. <laughs> this is like barf. No, this is page two thirty one on Pornhub. No barf emotes. <laughs> look at this triplet. Three and one here. Hey. <laughs> So yeah, and then it had grown, it was so cramped inside the, like, trauma center hospital emergency thing that they kind of, they grew, but it's, they grew together. <laughs> they, yeah, it just became And a, then to the point where when it got released, it was just like a chunk that was taken out of the growth, and this was the <laughs> chunk. It looks like the thing. My face is grimace. <laughs> So, I mean, Enrique, you could totally choose, you know, like, Dina, or JJ, or Abby, or Sam and Henry, or... I'm telling mom, stop! <laughs> <laughs> this is like my 600 pound... Have you ever watched my 600 pound life? Yeah. It always makes me feel super skinny when I watch it. And then I'm watching it, like, while eating, like, an entire bag of, like, party-sized chips. Uh, but I still feel skinny while I do it. Yeah, see, they're kind of hovering over the floor. Oh, dainty little toe. I think it's dynamic, Sasha. He's in a dynamic pose. He's in movement. Ugh, the grossest part is definitely like the weird pustules. <laughs> That's the weirdest part. I think it's the random hairs. Well, and like the, the hairs the are definitely barnacles. Gross. Things, yeah, I think is the worst. The barnacles are gross because that's where spores come out of, which makes it even grosser. <laughs> like, <laughs> But the, you know, the morphing of bodies just kind of reminds me of, like, uh, um... Oh, there's a flip by that. Twins. Every time you turn it, I discover something new. <laughs> <laughs> there's, oh, there's a pair of legs right there. Look at those pretty huh. little feet. Look, he died daintily. Oh, it's got, he or oh, she it's got kind of a flat foot. Not oh. that one, though. <laughs> That's just a foot, you know. <laughs> or wrecking. Oh, man, yeah, they put so much detail. Oh, someone had fun. Someone had to stare at this for hours a day, getting paid for it to make it look legit. I bet y'all can eat after the Dr. Pimple show. I saw part of the uh, Dr. Pimple poppers, uh, red, white, and uh, what was it? Not blue, but it was like it was like it it she it was like a marathon of Dr. Pimple popper, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was all these different color like things that she had to like pop so okay. i may have been eating during that one too i don't know <laughs> like Ugh, crunch <laughs> like mm, pudding how many things are on here okay i'm gonna base it off the heads because i don't think anything that doesn't have a head is alive okay but like there's okay that female's body right there like her mm -hmm. head goes into it so into that one's ass 
crotch. Actually, eh, it's kind of like the butt of, or the back thigh of yeah. that woman. Well, that's, I think, the closest we got to a nipple. You see it? You're right! There's totally a... No, we had... You mirrored Leah? Yeah, but it was covered Did... in blood. It was censored. No, but the, the Polaroid you took, didn't that have... That wasn't covered in uh, blood. Yeah, it was. We, we, it was censored. We couldn't see it. Oh. Not well, anyway. All right. As far was it as... red, white, and you? Maybe. I don't remember what it was. As far as heads go, <laughs> we got two. All right, I see four. Three, maybe four. One, two, three, four on the top. Five. Right. Uh, yeah, maybe five. I can't tell if this one has much. Oh. <laughs> Zooms in. <laughs> God, it slows down the game so bad. 4K Rat King pin up. So five bodies <laughs> in here of heads that are ten like sentient, Invisible. so to speak. The other ones may just be dead. Like this one doesn't look like I don't know. You know what would have been great? If uh these had like a looping animation. <laughs> Not great for <laughs> us necessarily, but great to see in general. So you can see the movement. Just I want to see on those Twitter, are alive. who designed Rat King? I have questions. <laughs> I also need more reference art. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Enrique, <laughs> for sure you want a beautiful pinup of this handsome feller's. Feller's? <laughs> 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 I think they identify as um, non binary. They would definitely be a they, that's for sure. That, well, it's a they simply because it's more than one person. Yeah, and we don't have the proper <laughs> pronouns for a non-binary other than <laughs> multiple or plural. I saw one episode that through that celebrity watch long show, Raven Simone's brothers made me laugh so hard. That bitch got salsa burning coming out. <laughs> 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 oh, we're ruining food. Because <sighs> this is other arm. He is definitely- so that- that one helped a lot with the balance. The one that tears off later. Yes. It looks like- Oh! Okay. You see his knee right there? It goes into the guy's back leg. Yeah. They're playing footsies. Where's his other leg, though? It must be inside his crotch. Yeah, um. let's zoom into the crotch with the barnacles and shit. Haha, <laughs> no. Okay, no pinup, but if you feel- I might draw Up a chibi for version just with... for fucking around. <laughs> you should draw a rat king having like a smoothie. <laughs> just off day rat king. Which hand's holding the smoothie though? Or are they all having smoothies? <laughs> <laughs> but there's only so many mouths. <laughs> <laughs> all these five of them can have a smoothie. I'll have one of the ones without a head holding a smoothie. Very sadly. <laughs> okay, no pin up. <laughs> Is that what you really want? <laughs> That's impossible body standards for me. <laughs> one has a smoothie. One has a popsicle. One smoothie, multiple straws wrapping around him. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of those crazy straws that like go in like swirls? One of them has to have like one of those like a beer caps with the straws. <laughs> I feel uh. like my life would be easier if I just photoshopped it <laughs> on top of one of these. Than to draw it. So this is him without the stalker. Yeah. Okay, so the so... tripod leg is gone. Oh, it's not as torn down there as it is up here where clearly it came out of. Man, look at all those kidneys? <laughs> Question mark? <sighs> so much of its body was definitely coming out of there. Yeah. They do in the same pose. No, they move. Cool. They don't just cool. copy pace. And then. Yeah, that looks like a clicker. Huh. So was the bloody half was the unexposed part? The part that was definitely inside the body. Most of that other body. What a breakup, man. What a breakup. <sighs> I think I, I was definitely part of that breakup. Oh, it's all fuzzy! <laughs> From the 70s, I see. <laughs> I think you're the only one who has, like, pubic hair in this game. <laughs> Yuck. Look at that texture. Yeah. It's Is very there spores impressive. coming around, floating around on the screen? That's cool. Yeah.
Oh, but you know what's good? Like, you could totally still identify who that was. Dental records, guys. Dental yeah. records. <laughs> I need to order Manscaped. <laughs> Just gorgeous oh. models, man. But gross. <laughs> Ew, look at that elbow. We don't have enough money to buy the other ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I guess. So, what's? Oh, that's a runner. So that's like first stage. Yeah, first stage. How long of a first stage? Uh, this is the WLF, so fresh, pretty fresh. Oh no, they look at the scars and stuff. Are the the bubbling already starting for the uh, stalkers? So this is like a couple weeks, maybe at yeah. best. Excuse me. I wonder if you can see the bite. Oh, well, I don't know where they got bit. The... Oh, never mind. I thought maybe it'd be the arm or something because of blood. <laughs> I just, honestly, I would just be wearing long sleeves all the time. Or like that one guy in uh, The Walking Dead who put, like, duct tape all over his sleeves. Oh, I mean, I guess that could work. It's tough. He's like, it's so cold. He kind of looks like uh, that actor. Um, The one who plays the devil in... (laughs) The one who plays the devil in... uh, Constantine. Uh, He's the V Dob but... guy. Oh, oh, uh, he played the uh, the mob boss in um, Prison Break. I guess I haven't watched that one, but I... so like this game definitely taught it's... us that these guys are resilient no matter what the weather's like. Yeah, and I would think that they wouldn't do so well with cold. Yeah. I thought they would rot, you know? Yeah. They have to, like, they're reanimated, but in in a very organic way. So they still need to, like, get nutrients. They'll just shut down, right? I guess. The spore is alive in some way. Look at that happy, dumb, stupid person. (laughs) Yeah. It says hail to the on his- Is he Asian? I see Uh, he could be Hispanic mix, maybe. It is SoCal. I can't. He has a hail to the king on his like belly area, police chest like. Yeah, and it says ruthless by his neck. I'm the fact that he's wearing like are... a Hawaiian shirt with yeah. like his body armor is hilarious. I think. I want to say these are like gang members or like, yeah, gangs that were like around the area that just took over. That's a big zipper, I think. Oh, it is, yeah. All right, I'm off. Well, congratulations, right. Enrique. Mm-hmm. Just congratulations. text me uh, what you want me to draw. What did you say it? And I missed it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Oh, no it, pin the up, racking, but the... racking would be cool. Okay, I didn't read that. Yeah. Well. All right, I'll try. Bye. Congrats, Enrique. It'd Good be night. Something different, <laughs> that's for sure. And honestly, if you mess up, just make it in our limp. I, I think that's. I feel like I have a lot of liberty in <laughs> drawing that. I I expect my beautiful maiden tomorrow. (laughs) Um, I've got news for you. (laughs) Probably won't be tomorrow. Copy that. Brad King! I'll probably end up drawing it, I don't know, maybe after stream tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. I mean, I could technically draw it during stream tomorrow, because we're just doing Animal Crossing. Yeah, we're not doing anything specific in Animal Crossing. Oh, see, I just gotta find my art supplies somewhere in this house. All right. Congrats, Enrique. (laughs) And uh, thank you all for watching and keeping with us this very long journey of a game. It's not like we haven't streamed a game for long periods of time, but this is the longest single player that we've streamed. Everything else has been multiplayer that we're grinding in. Mm -hmm. Um, But this... I liked it a lot. Um, I do think it deserves really high scoring. I'm not entirely with the 10 out of 10 scorings. 9 out of 10 would be the highest I'd give it. But I would say it's yeah. like, uh, if I had to boil it down, probably like eight and a half for me out of ten. It had a lot going for it. It kind of fell short um, in some of the very obvious video game moments. Yeah. I just want the delivery person. <laughs> I think she's coming no matter what. 
whether she has the delivery or not. <laughs> but um, I know we can't. I, we have to middleman this apparently. What would you rating wise give it, Bernice? I know you. I know you didn't physically play it, but you got as close as most people could possibly get if they can't. Yeah. Play it. Um. So my rating would have to be based on story and storytelling mm-hmm. mainly. Um. Since I can't talk about gameplay. Um. I'd say I'd probably give it an eight as well. Okay. Um. And but it was uneven. Like I would say. First half of the game was definitely really high, yeah, it really high, really and low. then, um, I but I think the best section for me was playing as Abby for uh, story wise, because mm-hmm. it was from the perspective of like what she was doing all this time, and it was a new character that you could play, and so. I would say that was higher than the first three days of Seattle. Um, but then there's also parts of it where I was just like, but why? <laughs> you know? Because mm-hmm. um, it had a lot of, like, I want to say Ellie's part of her story was a lot more bleak and angry. But it's because we're mm-hmm. watching the beginning of, like, a revenge. Yeah. And with Abby, uh, we got to see someone coming out of revenge and growth. Um yeah, because do you, you don't really see that growth in Ellie, mm-hmm. and that makes her a little bit static in that respect. Mm-hmm. Um, I also like, and that's just me, that there was all these little callbacks if you were like paying attention to the story, where they mentioned that, like, oh, you know, we're, we have to go to the hospital to get our supplies. Yeah. And then that's... Nora's there, and Whitney's like, oh yeah, I have to go, and then... And then you see Whitney again when you do mm-hmm. go to the hospital. And it humanizes and... her even more than just somebody you stabbed in the neck. <laughs> right, right. And then, so, you you see things like that. And, like, oh, yeah, they mentioned the TV station. Things like that. Mm-hmm. So, it sort of rounded out the world. Whereas, um, as Ellie, we only got these, like, bits and pieces. And everybody was Ugh. a bad guy. That's it in her mind. Kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Bye, Helica. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, it um, but I did enjoy the um, the flashbacks of Ellie. Mm-hmm. It gives Not- us a good perspective. Excuse me, of what, why it was, excuse me, why it was so important. Uh, outside of Joel being her father figure. Excuse me. And so I also love all that of she that got her answer. Like she didn't live with that lie Joel told her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was very obviously a lie because <laughs> he said it so poorly. <laughs> but I love that we well, got that. Again. Um yeah, so I definitely like that. It Yes, Joel was definitely a loss, but I think it was a necessary loss to push the story forward. And he was um, at a stagnant point as far as character design goes. Um, he hit his stride and he was in a position where just like Nazi generals, whether they did the horrible stuff or not, they were following orders kind of thing. Uh, they still yeah. have to pay for what they did. They're war criminals. Criminals. Yeah. Um, so and in I would a say sense, that's kind of what he became by doing what he did to save Ellie. I mean, it's like I said, it's completely understandable. I understand exactly why he did it. I don't agree with it. And um, I'm not saying the decision to leave Ellie behind would have been easy to begin with, but at the same time, I do feel like they should have given Ellie a choice. Whether or not they would have given it to her, I just would rather have heard her say from her own mouth, yes, do the operation kind of thing. Which Um, I feel like she would have, because based on how we know how she stands on it. Story-wise, we've already talked about how Santa Barbara feels just completely different. Like... I think if obviously the resolution would have to be slightly different, but if the game ended at the the climax of what is Seattle Day Three, mm-hmm. that would have been great. Santa Barbara, I think, would have been a nice like sort of that left behind like DLC, like a DLC campaign because it is different True. enough. Yeah, that that would have made sense. Um, 
I would have liked it if it ended at the farm, but with the whole Tommy section. Mm-hmm. And Ellie eventually leaving. And that would have been like a cliffhanger ending. And Which would have led into like the Santa Barbara DLC. Mm-hmm. I think that would have been stronger for the story because not everyone plays the DLC and that one and that leaves it up to like the player to really think about like Ellie's headspace about where she is, what she's mm-hmm. experienced, you know. And we've already been trucked along for what, thirty four hours at that point? Mm-hmm. Like tacking on another two hours in a whole new location that we have to like, you know, visually intake was what much. a whole new not like a whole new enemy, but a new enemy group. Like Yeah. So I, I do think that Santa Barbara should have been a DLC and I think the story itself would have been stronger for it. Yeah. I think the story would have ended beautifully with the cliffhanger of Ellie leaving after the farm. Enough for us to know like, oh, she's still hellbent and is this destroying her? And um, Santa Barbara would have been that nice tack on of like, oh shit, here we are. We're going to go and try and find Abby for the last time kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. But um, um, yeah, I should have. There's just so much here that they did well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still one of the highest forms of great storytelling and character development yeah. in games right now. Um, we probably are criticizing it more definitely because of the, the controversy going around it. Yeah, I do think definitely. it deserves the high uh, like praise. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, even near perfect seems a little much. It still has a lot to learn to be a perfect game mixed story element. The lowest score that I believed that wasn't like someone just being a troll and an asshole is definitely 7 out of 10. Yeah. 85 out of 100 is good too. Yeah, I don't I definitely see that. But um I still think that's I, something I, everyone should like experience for themselves. Don't don't base it off of the spoilers. Don't like base it off of people just being a, like controversial assholes. Like if you had interest to play to begin with, make your own judgment. And play it yourself. And like, there's so much character development in the f- like facial animations and the dialogue that you don't get from just someone giving you snippets of what happened. That it'll it's all lost in, in any other form. Yeah, like if I were to tell you about the ending fight between Abby and Ellie. Where it's just like, they're fighting, they're fighting, and then Ellie gets the upper hand and starts choking her underwater. But then she stops. Like, that... Mm-hmm. This has none of impact and of what actually happened. Yeah. Because uh, this game did a great job of humanizing and giving us a reason why Abby isn't just this quote-unquote bad guy. Mm-hmm. And um, we're re- I, I'm also very much a person that hopes for change. I know I said that earlier. And I hope for growth. And, uh, like, that's the whole reason of our prison system, guys. It's not to lock away the horrible people, it's to reform them. And have them come back into society as better people. Now, obviously, this doesn't work for everybody. And, uh, different crimes have different length of time you're in jail from, obviously, life. But people are not perfect. And things that they live through makes them even worse. And everyone deserves that chance to be better. And I think we got to see Abby's chance to be better. It's sad that the people that died along the way, like, Mel didn't deserve that. No. Um, Owen didn't deserve that. He seemed like a genuinely good person. But he, he was, was caught already on the wrong side. changing, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, Manny we didn't get to know much of, but his at least his different. death was quick. Yeah. Um, but then his death was like symbolic to Tommy because Tommy was always like an eye for an eye and Manny was shot in the eye yeah and so Tommy was shot in the eye and I think um there's a lot to unpack here there's so many minute little story and character developments in there too and like I feel like Joel being that beacon that pushes everyone in the direction they end up going was a great choice 
instead of using what the kind of the trailers are like alluding to Abby. I mean, not Abby, uh, Dina. Because mm -hmm. Dina would have been a horrible and flat choice. Because like, she's a great character, but she doesn't have the same weight as Joel. Nope. Um, and he would be the only thing believable to me for a cross country revenge streak <laughs> than yeah. uh, Dina. Which is, it's funny because that's what the original, like, plot was going to be for Last of Us 1. Like, Tess was this big bad guy who was going to follow him across the country. Which is, but, yeah, a little weird based on the Tess we know. I don't know if she would have been different, you know, in any other She way. probably would have been different, but it's just like, how bad did you have to screw over a person for them to follow you across country? Mm -hmm. Trying to track and kill you. Like, it's almost cartoonish to track and track across a country. So... Uh, yeah, um, that is The Last of Us Part 2. Mm -hmm. It definitely lived up to my expectation. Um, my expectations go all over the place, so I never really- there's no real, like, level to hit, but it's more like, uh, it hit everything that I wanted to hit in this experience. And gameplay was definitely a, the biggest improvement. Uh, graphics obviously are incredible, but I didn't doubt that from Naughty Dog. I expected it almost. Um, if they make part three, which they said that's not the plan, that wasn't ever the plan, but never. this wasn't also the plan either, part two. If they mm -hmm. make a part three, um, I will probably still play it and be really invested in it. With all the bashing this game got for trying to be like forcing the gay agenda shit and like propaganda and all that, politics and everything which is every fucking game if you've ever played a game guys is politics yes but um it never felt super forced like we already knew ellie was lesbian from the end of or the dlc in the first game or at least we knew she was uh bi at most you know yeah and um we obviously saw the kiss scene, so I was like, oh, okay, and in my mind, I was actually rooting for her to be just happy, because it didn't seem like she was a character that was ever going to let herself be happy, and that's what I was looking forward to, is her just letting herself be happy with uh, Dina. The, yeah. Because, uh... I mean, if you lost your life purpose, or, or the meaning of your life, it's hard to be happy, mm -hmm. and she had that, but she chose to throw it away. And then I think uh, with I love the archetypal changes, like Abby being such a big woman was awesome and different. And she was such a polar opposite to Ellie, who was frail as all can be. And um, even Lev's story wasn't- it never felt like it was super forced on me. It was definitely a realistic scenario in this new world that these people are building. I mean, LGBTQ plus people still exist, so how, do, how does like a super religious cult like them as- like I th go through that you know but i think this was a good example of how to include <laughs> lgbt characters yeah and like this game is great it used them wonderfully because for one they were just human beings and they were just mm -hmm. living their lives and like jackson as a whole doesn't seem like a city that enforces a lot of like uh traditional boundaries as far as like the world used to be it right. seems like survivors are survivors, and we accept anyone. And sure, there'll be people like that, like we met Seth, obviously, and he was trying right. to get better. That was our first, first example, by the way, of someone who's in a horrible space and they were trying to redeem themselves. And um, I think it's a good example of LGBTQIA uh, uh, characters. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Because it wasn't forced. Mm -mm. It, and it affected the storyline. Yeah, It affected the story. Ellie being not straight affect the storyline that Dino came along with her. Yeah. Lev being trans affect the storyline because that's why he's he was there. Just out of town. Mm -hmm. Why Yara went with him, uh, how they ran into Abby, who was losing hope in all humanity at this point, but started like opening up to people that she used to kill Will and Ellie. Like these are all believable scenarios, and it could be because we were we were born and raised in SoCal, and this we're saturated in LGBTQ plus a whatever. I know I'm forgetting something, <laughs> but um, worlds, and we see people like this all the time, and they're just people trying to live their lives, 
And um, now this game coming out in fucking Russia where they're still killing people who are gay. Of course, this is going to be like, oh my god, blasphemous or being too progressive or something bullshit. And um, I don't know. I've seen a lot of really bad representations and this is not one of them. No, um, I'd say a bad one would be Borderlands the pre-sequel. Or, mm, what's the, what's uh, what, Janie? Janie? Yeah. Janie. She beat us over the head with the fact that she was a lesbian. Yeah. And it in no way effect, affected the story. No, and it's like, it, it's almost like they're trying to make it a shock value. They're like, yeah, did you hear? I'm gay. Like, it's like, okay, but that's fine. Like, <laughs> it's not a problem. Be yourself kind of thing. But yeah, and, and then she like forced it on, almost f- seems to have forced it onto Athena, who Athena was really she just missing like a sisterhood. Yeah. yeah, asexual and she was just missing the bonding of between women, like that sisterhood. Yeah. So, like that, I feel was an example of not what not to do. Like it even was... in Borderlands, uh, Moxie is would I would say she'd probably be pansexual. Yes. Because like not to be mean on describing pansexual, she literally will fuck anything, but um, she doesn't see physical looks or like standards to be what you could fall in love with like because i think she was she was she uh hooked up with motor mama mm-hmm. uh who i think was in the torg dlc yes uh there was another one that she talked about uh mad mel i think mm-hmm. in the first game so but like, that was, I think, better done. But the mm-hmm. pre-sequel was just bad. It bashes over the head with but it. But pre-sequel had problems to begin with. It wasn't the greatest story of the Borderlands yes. series. But, but like, like, I like, I liked how their sexuality here made a difference in the story. And yeah. Because I think it was um, Solo, the Star Wars story, where, uh, what's his face? Lando? Mm-hmm. He's like, oh yeah, I played him as a pansexual. Like, okay, did that really matter to the story? I mean, it's Star Wars, man. Like, there's so many, like, races and sexualities there. I feel like everyone's almost pansexual by default. Like, have you seen the world and saturation of it? Yeah, so it's... I think they did that well here. Yeah. They really did that well here. And they never did it in the sense, like, uh, fucking, what's her name? RJ, what's her name? Harry Potter lady. Yeah. Uh, where she'd be like, oh, Dumbledore's gay, but never introduced it in the story. She only kind of used it as some kind of, like, beacon to get more views, that kind of stuff. And, like, and that was also another case of, like, will it affect the story? It's not, especially not if you've already written the story. And it's like... You can't go back. Yeah. And it's not that... Like, a person can just be gay. Like, they don't have to announce it from the rooftops. Just like you wouldn't want it with someone straight saying that either. It's just as annoying. Like, just if they are, they are, and that's it. That's how they live their lives. And like, it should have a story element weight to it if it's part of the story. For example, um, *Handmaid's Tale* is about uh, equality of women. And then there's also obviously LGBTQ stuff in there too, because they're highly religious in that world. Mm -hmm. And what they did well was, yeah, it's a a trope that's been played a lot because it's such a heavy topic that's still in play now, especially like race and stuff. But um, it's based off a book that was years old and it's still pretty relevant, which is pretty sad. But they do it well in the sense that they make it seem like this dystopian future that can totally happen. And... um, they never hit you over the head with the obviousness like we already get the established idea that being a woman sucks in that world because that's how it was built like we know that's the story of the world like if they just threw it out of nowhere it just it wouldn't make sense it's those kind of things it's like yes i would love inclusion because i think include like uh representation matters hardcore but doing it well matters more to me yeah. So and this game hopefully is a turning point for that. It's definitely helped a lot of people. I should say I'm enjoying I got, the chat. They're gonna be up tomorrow. Excellent game and thanks, ladies. Yeah. We'll be yes. this is probably the end of it too, either way. We should say goodnight too. I have yeah. rescheduled my blood uh work lab work tomorrow okay. morning for the fourth time. <laughs> it's hard. But um 
I will have to do it tomorrow. I have to. I can't keep pushing it back. But uh, thank you guys for watching and sticking with us on this yep. very long journey. Um, we'll be on tomorrow at 11.30, I think we said, or? Uh, let we have to stop at 2. So. Fikash, I know that person. <laughs> yes. We can start at... Wait, yeah. 2, 1, 2. Uh, so Ignore that clip. Um, so we can going? do... We can, we can start at like 12 and be okay. And that'd be like a 3 hour stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so our our regular on. normal 12 noon uh, start time. We'll be playing uh, some Animal Crossing palette cleanser. Yes. Doing random things since there's no event in particular. Yeah. But um yeah guys, thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Good night. Yes. Thanks right. for coming in for the giveaway as well. Congrats, Durka. Uh hope you enjoy your pinup rat king. <laughs> I know you don't want it pin up, but I'm just saying. And all the givings we will give you tomorrow. You also have to let us know what system you want your ten dollar gift card to. I'm That's gonna true. assume I don't know. I don't know which one you're going to choose, actually. But good night, guys. Good night. Bye, and thank you for participating. Have a great weekend. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you again for our 1,000th <laughs> follower. Celebration. Which is not so far as it could be. Not as far as you think, guys. Not as far. Bye. We're at 922, so 77. Yeah. Quarter <laughs> of the way-ish there. 78. 78!